Vaping tends to appeal to a younger crowd. It's pretty addictive, like, especially if friends are, like, all kind of using them together and stuff. I guess it's just easy, um, you know, like it's accessible. It's about to get a lot less accessible. No more bubblegum flavours, no more pink unicorns, no more vapes deliberately disguised as highlighter pens for kids to be able to hide them in their pencil cases. The aim to stop a vaping habit becoming a smoking habit. Young vapers are three times as likely to take up smoking. So it is no wonder that under 25s are the only cohort in our population that are seeing smoking rates actually increase. I've just bought this disposable vape from a shop around the corner. The flavour is Mango Bomb and it contains about two and a half thousand puffs. Now, legally, this shouldn't have any nicotine in it. There's no mention of it on the box. And studies have shown devices like this often do contain nicotine. This is exactly the kind of vape the government is moving to ban. It was not sold as a recreational product. And in particular, not one for our kids. But that is what it's become. Reusable vapes containing nicotine will still be available from pharmacies with a prescription. But colourful packaging won't be allowed and flavours will be banned. The only people really who should be using these products are smokers who might need them to quit and doing so under medical supervision. Those still smoking are set to see cost jump again. Next week's budget will include a big tax hike on tobacco, up 15% over three years. Tom Lowry, ABC News, Canberra.